Jogging ahead of me there. <laughs> yep. It's my tent. Anything I touch is mine. This tent is mine. This bush is mine. This rock is mine. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Here. Let's see. All right. Let's what do we? This shotgun. The Plinkerton. <laughs> and gear up. Kill something a little bit bigger than a defenseless feathery creature. I'm I'm about goosed out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put away my uh, my collars and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do too. Yeah. Do my basanti just in case I've got to punch a hog in the face. Oh, see, it's maximum carry capacity. Yeah, I almost ran into that problem myself. I had to. Oh, I've still got my ammo for my plinker to on me yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Of course, now the geese are coming in. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> you of course. You goosey bastards, you. And those Lots are three fifty-seven rounds. Get rid of those, and now I should be able to grab a box of them. There we go. And you've got road deer stuff, right? Yep, sure do. All right. I'm locked and loaded. Get my face paint on. So I'm trying to decide if I should stay in my field camo or if I should... Uh, Switch over to my forest camel. I don't know. The only thing I have for for um, fall forest is the ghillie suit. And that ain't going to do me a lot of good in the field. And it's noisy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, yeah. I'll, I'll stick with the field camel. Bad boys are set to rock and roll. And before we head out, I really need to answer the call of the wild myself here. <laughs> I'm back. All right, I'm over here picking up my red deer. I'm teasing you, it's only a roe deer. <laughs> yeah, while you were gone, I was making some roe deer calls. So maybe I attracted him, I don't know. Well, he come walking in the field, he was on his way right over to us. He's a good-looking fella, too. I think he might be the best road deer I've taken, actually. That's good. Have you noticed that the geese suddenly have just now flying overhead like crazy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. In fact, he's got some interesting horns. Hold on. Yeah, he's a 143. That's very respectable. But I missed him on... Uh, Missed him on my first shot. Hit him on my second shot. He was on the run. Yeah, I want to see him. With his little road deer button here. Oh, yeah. Damn. Those are some nice horns. Yeah, yeah. They're real tall, and their coronas at the bottom are, are pretty nice, too. Light's kind of poor, but I think he's... All right, little shot here. That tree. Uh, was it Expansive Worlds is the ones who put this out? Yeah. But yeah, I, I hit him hit him high in the shoulder. I shot when his front feet hit the ground. When a deer is running, that's, that's the key. If you're taking a shot at a running deer, wait to pull the trigger until his front feet hit the ground. So when his front feet hit the ground, he's got to gather his rear legs under him plant those and then spring off and so if you hold your shot till his front feet hit the ground there's a hesitation in his stride there hmm. but anyway i missed him like 
by a mile with the first shot and so when I shot the second time I just assumed I missed him just as bad as I did the first time uh, nothing down there okay I thought I saw something down the road half the time I expect to see a car come through here <laughs> I keep getting bleeped here what am I getting bleeped yeah I'm getting it too is there oh, a mushroom? Okay, maybe it's a goose down in a field or something well there were are you freaking kidding me? What? 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 Man, one of them days, hugs. I'll be damned. Yep, there he goes. A couple of them. Yep, he's down. You believe that business? <laughs> They're walking right up to us. Now, I think that was a sow I just put down, and I think there was a pretty good boar with her. So if we go over and we pick up the track, or are you more interested in seeing if we can find some red deer? Oh, I don't care. I'm just... Good God, guys. <laughs> Did you get any closer? <laughs> Those geese are really close overhead. Yeah. Yeah, punch this fella good. I believe I took him through. I'm within range. Through his to... one lung. I'm in within range to join a trophy shot. Yeah, you're walking through the zone where I uh, did the shot with that roe deer, so it'll tell you you're within range of a trophy shot. They got to fix that. It seems to lag behind. Yeah, a little. <laughs> yeah. Is that him over there? Yeah, I guess it yep. is. Yep, heart and lungs. But he paused right there just so pretty for a pocket shot that I just had to take it. I was hoping I could take the prone shot, but there's a little hill in the way. Heart and lungs. Now you're a big girl. Or are you a big boy? I think you're a big girl. Yeah, you're a big girl. Yep. Body, shoulder blade, right lung, classic pocket shot. Only scored 205, but I don't care. Yeah. And there she vanishes. They don't have to be the biggest. But let's see if we can find another one's track and see if it was a boar or not. I don't know if it was two sows or a boar and a sow. If it's a boar, it could be a good one because he was real dark colored. Yeah, that one right there might be him. Yep. Wild boar trotting, but it's not giving me... I thought my boar tracking was high enough to get the, the sex on him. Well, I'm sure it is for mm. feral hogs, but don't they read differently? Yeah. When I stop and think about it, I, I suppose I haven't invested all that much time in uh, in the hunting hogs. Well, what do you, so what do you want to go after? Um, Honestly. We can push into the fields off southeast and try to find some red deer. That's we fun. can... Try to follow up hogs. I'm good either way. Now nah, that I've I've already got all my hunting done. Red deer, roe deer, whatever. Where, yeah, I don't know where you've been, but I already got me a roe deer and a hog and a boulder and I don't know what all. <laughs> I hit the side of a fence. Yep. Yeah, if you want a boulder, there's one right over there. Oh, okay. Get a really nice shot. It hasn't moved at all. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Shoot, I feel the sneeze. Coming. We've had a fair amount of, of little additions. Um, we just got new loadout. You get Excuse every, me. Every... Goodness, what the Sam hell was that? <laughs> that was me I think, sneezing. I think I may have just heard the mating call of my people. What the hell? <laughs> oh. But uh, yeah, they've we're, they've given us. Um, Savable loadouts. Ooh. Oh, who are you? That is a boar. She's up in that next field. Yeah, that's good. If she's there, it means that we're we're out of the spook radius of my shots. Good. <clears throat> but this field here often is very good for a row. It's good for red, and it's good for boar. But if we get up here and there's a nice tusker out there, you can whoop him. All right. But Kanchi. Got a red deer track over here, right next to us. What about us? Who? What? 
Got a red dirt track right over here where I'm standing. Looks oh, you're like saying you found red dirt track? Uh huh. Looks like he went this way. Ah, oh, yep. All right. Nope, that's a different one. So we got a herd. Yeah, so we probably got a couple of cows moving together. Probably. Do you want to follow them or? Well. What do you think? Head out to the field. Of course, they can see us here. That's the thing. Up the hilltop here and see what we got back here. Because this is all wooded back here, and our camouflage is not going to do us any good at all. Yeah, no. There's a field that's caddy corner across, but that's within the range of the spook distance of my 30 out 6. So I kind of find it unlikely that we'd have anything going on out there. It's up to you, bro, but. I kind of think that maybe what we should do is we should continue pushing down the fields that go out to the point in the river because if we do, we can always turn around and swing back up through that series of fields over there on our way back up. Right. Let's make for the hunting tower. It's down on the point there. If you look, if you pull up your big map, you can see it down there. That'll cut us across two good fields and through through some good territory for the red deer. Okay. You know, yeah, we might be able to set up in that tower for a little while and just see if we can. I don't think I've ever been to that tower. Honestly, we've always kind of hung to the fields, you know. Yep. Well, early morning, that tower is a great place for big pheasants. Road here right out in the field, right straight out. It is a she, and she is 45 meters. She just beeped yeah, 45 meters from me. I don't know. I mean, if I was going to get one, I'd rather go for a male. Okay. She's going to have a fit when we step out. <laughs> yeah. Let her have babies. Let her have let some randy male make more of them with her. <laughs> yeah. Boy, she is just oblivious, too. She Good really thing is. I'm not one of those one of those guys. She'd have had a hole poked in her, no doubt about it. Remark the tower here. There we go. I think that this is probably one of the first hunts we've had where we have not heard or seen a single red deer. Wait a minute, oh, what's that out there? Speak of the devil. Is that what I think it is? That is a red deer buck. He is amazing hockey. He's 119 meters out. Take him with that weather bees right to the right of that bale, and he has an amazing rack. He could score a 280 hawk. If you can go prone, do so. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him a call and patch him, but I would take him just as soon as you can because he's he's amazing. Because if you don't, I'm a gonna. Nice shot. Dropped him right on the spot. He's got a really nice rack on him. Yes, he does. Damn. I walked out there and I saw that something walking to the left or the right, and I was like, is that what I think it is? <laughs> yeah. Well, as always, all we had to do is say, gee, there's no deer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I love, leveled all up right. on my Weatherby, too. Yeah. Go see him. He is a nice one, Hawk. He is one of the better red deer I've seen in a good long while. Nice shot. Thank you. Yeah, going prone, it makes it so much easier to steady yourself. I think Baldi says, nice shot, Hawk. Of course, there's nothing around for miles now, but... <laughs> well, that weather bee is no joke. Mm-mm. 
My great uncle Zygmunt, he he swore by his weather beam. Good God, look at that. Those horns, man. Yeah, this is a dandy fella. Very nice deer. Beautiful heart lung shot, too. You got good heart lung blood here. Jeez. That was a damn fine shot, Hawk. Holy crickies. I figured pushing down this way, we'd eventually find him. It was just a matter of how far this, this way they'd wandered by this time in the morning. Still calculating the score, 241. 241, there you go. That is a damn fine red deer. Uh, it's my personal best, for sure. <laughs> I think that is going to be going somewhere in a trophy room. I would say. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely trophy room, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to take a quick glance, see, see where they're at on the leaderboard. Good God, look at those horns. Yeah. Leaderboard starts at uh, 275, but that is one of the better red deer that I've seen in a long time. Hmm, I can't move him. I wonder why. Well, if you can't move him, then if I if you step on, I'd step on the opposite side of him. Yeah, I'd get on the opposite side of him, right behind his horns, and then get your your camera view from over here, because his head's off to the right here. So I would I would come and stand. Yeah, right. That's perfect. Right in here. That's actually a really yep, good shot. Right in there. Yeah, get yourself in there too. Oh, okay. Definitely. I was gonna get the hell out of your shot. Oh no, hell no. That is amazing. You're going to like this shot. That is an amazing picture. I couldn't have asked for better. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Now it's a hunt. Yeah, now we're on. <laughs> now we've now actually started. That was, a, that was a nice deer. Load that weather be boomstick ears. Mm -hmm. There you go. I probably need to probably need to throw around in here. Yep. Well, so now we got to make a decision. I know it is two o'clock in the morning for you there. Well, you want to head for the tower? That's what I was gonna say. When we finish our walk to the tower, just just for the lulls. I don't want them to get too long. But I figure if we Should finish we our walk to the tower, you never know there's a chance we might come across something. And Just head over this hillock. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we might lose our camouflage out here. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably lose our camouflage as we go up over the hill. The this particular tree or this particular uh, tower kind of sits in a copse of little trees with a big long open field in front of it. Mm. Yeah, it's like I said, I don't, I don't never been to this one, so. Now I've taken plenty of roe deer and red deer from it. Like I say, early in the morning, the early morning pheasants. I've taken lots of really nice pheasants. Coming in at 5 a.m. and heading straight there. So it might be worth setting a patch. Yeah. Giving a call. Where's a good place to set a patch from the tower? Like this rock or? Well, I was going to say if you want to slip up there. Basically, I'll set a 20 meter patch. Well, uh, sure. I wouldn't yeah. mind taking a. Taking a red deer with the bow if we can pull him. I was going to say, it's your towing. But yeah, he, he <laughs> come right through in front of the tower here. This is probably one of the best towers for red deer on the entire map. 
But if you want to go ahead and slip up to dirt. I'm up. Yeah, this is a good sized track. I think this is probably a stag. I uh, heard. His track right here is 17 meters, so I'm going to do the patch and call right here. Okay. I'm just trying taking a good look around here to see if I see anything. See if we... Ooh, what's that? Pull them in from There's the a whole... around us here. There's a herd of them over there. Hold on, let me get a good look here. Yep, there's a whole herd of them. Yep. We've got... Trying one, to get over... two, three cows. Yep. I don't see any stags, though. Just cows. Well, are, are the cows or does? Red deer. Cows. Cows. That's just like elk or cows. Okay. Couldn't remember. Yeah, it's just cows. But. Well, the thing is, is that. Uh, Wait a minute. What's they that? They could one? be in the woods anywhere around us here. So if we just stay up here and keep relatively still, we could we could get. Make that four. Get some attention there down across the water there. Yeah, make that four. There's four of them. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. There's another one coming up. And it yep. is a fifth cow. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Jeez. You'd think there'd be a male in yep. there somewhere, wouldn't you? It'd be his little harem. <laughs> yeah. Now they've... Smelled the patch. They're poking their noses out. Mm hmm The little one in front. I open and see if we get curious. a get a stag come down out of these woods. There's a rodo. 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 Do. Rodeo do. Rodeo. But yeah, this is a, a great stand it's just it's a long way from any of the the spawn points yeah that's but probably why i've not been here because it is good ways a lot of times i'll, I'll come in at 5 a.m and work my way down here <clears throat> but it's probably one of the best stands for red deer on the whole map uh there's something oh. closing in but it's Closer yeah. than those ones. Oh my God! Look, Kachi. Yeah, I've got. I'm gonna go prone and shuffle up. He is. He's. He's nice. He's real nice. I didn't even. Yep. He just snuck up out of nowhere. Yeah, he slipped by. Ah, oh, son of a gun! What happened? Well, I'm gonna see if I can take him hot. Ow! Nice shot. Again, waited till his front feet hit the ground. That is the key, real life and in the game. Fire when their front feet hit the ground. Yeah, he's not as pretty as that one that you took, but he's nice. He's nice. Go ahead. I can't get down till you get down. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going, let me down. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here we go. I was, I was doing what I do in seven days to die, you know. <laughs> block the door. <laughs> Hemi. Block the door. <laughs> and Hemi says, pro tip, never run from Kachi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only oh, thing I was I just lucky. He took a nice straight line towards the water. Yeah. So it definitely made that a whole lot easier than that shot could have been. He must have hurt us or something. I don't Tried know to punch through his right lung and hit him in the heart, but I don't know if I got him or not. Won't know until I see the blood. I might have broke his back is what I might have done. It's a lot of blood here. Yeah, that's heart lung, I'm pretty sure. Wow, that's interesting. What's that? Right hind leg intestine left lung. So I don't, I don't know how in the hell I got right hind leg <laughs> intestine. So I punched him I punched him from above behind his right shoulder. Oh, well, damn, I was going to take a picture, but I exited out. He's gone. Oh, well. 
He's Ra Zara. Well, I could probably pull a picture off of there somehow. Yeah. What did he score? I don't even know. I <laughs> was talking and was going to exit out, take the picture, and he hit enter here. Red Deer score 165. Is, what is that? Is that average, above average? Ah, uh, yeah, he was he was the low end of average. He was nothing to write home about, but I'd have eaten him anyway. Probably more tender, anyhow. <laughs> that would be a pretty all right hunt. We yeah, managed it did. to wipe out half a half a century of geese and uh, pick up some nice animals. Yes, we did. I tell you, that was by far and away the best red deer I've gotten. I can't. I yeah, that was that was sweet. I don't think. I just got to remember, if we're not seeing any animals, all I got to do is go. There's no deer, and one will appear out of the blue. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, because we were cresting that hill, and you said that, and it's like, wait a minute, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Son of a gun, there he is. Yeah, you really got to get negative next time. That way, you can get one that is leaderboard yeah. quality, you know. <laughs> and and it was fun because I got two animals that I took on the run I always like it when I can hit them on a running shot it makes me feel like I've accomplished something yeah that was a lot of fun well anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that episode actually this is probably gonna be more than one episode and well always remember guys aim straight cast far and have fun and see. if you're gonna be a bear be a grizzard I'll see you later guys bye bye Thank <laughs> you.